Ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a former world heavyweight champion and two-time world Grand Prix runner-up. His professional record, 106 wins with 12 losses, 92 wins by knockout. At six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, he went in at 252 and one half pounds, 114.5 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco, he is Bala Hawley. That man has a fan base. His opponent, fighting out of the white corner, has not suffered defeat in the glory ring in three and a half years. His record, 49 wins with 10 losses, 13 wins by knockout. At six feet, five inches tall, 1.96 meters, he went in at 257 and one half pounds, 116.8 kilos. Fighting out of the Netherlands, he is the king of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven. Your referee, Asushi Onari. It's okay. Green fight. It's the collision we thought we'd never see. I have never seen anything like this. This is, the crowd is insane. Atmosphere is insane. Hope they got enough security guys for after. It's the best <laughs> versus the <laughs> bestest. Rico versus That's Butter. I will not begin until you sit in your seats. Please, take your seats so we can begin the main event. High concentration on both fighters. It's about to go down. They're not letting this noise in the crowd affect them. They're just eyeing each other down. It's just them two in there. Please take your seats. Father Hari. The Moroccan bull ready to charge. Look at this stare down. Let them go at each other. We got a fight in the crowd. We've got fists flying in the audience. A chokehold being put on one of the, the fans, I believe, for Butter Hurry. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. This is why.
Bonner staying patient. I think a lot of people anticipated Bonner to come out a little bit more aggressively. And a nice kick there from Rico Verhoeven. Rico's got the center, though. Put in pressure. by his standards. Yeah, he's going to circle out, wait for that right moment, and again, that jab. Get on the inside of the opens. Such tension here. Yeah, the tension is through the roof. Bader fighting a very clever fight. He's staying calm, he's staying composed from the fakes. Landing the jab, landing that kick. But Alistair, does, does he want to let Rico settle in? This is only a three-round fight, mind you. Bader didn't want five rounds. He wanted three. Bader sure. doing a smart fight by staying on the outside and using his jab and his left kicks. Oh, oh, Rico's stumbling. Rico stumbling. And Bader now upstairs. Going down low now is Rico. Rico's nose is blooded. That jab is landing. Yeah, those are some stiff jabs by Bader. And now Rico, though, pushing the pace now, backing Bonner up. 15 seconds to go, and what has been a wild affair, both in and out of the ring. Oh, and Rico almost ate a right hand that Bonner did. No! End of the first round. The damage is done, though. Blood coming out of the champion's nose. You score round one, Joe. That was a very intense first round, but you got to give that first round to Butter. He seemed to be doing more damage with his straight punches and causing the cut over the top of Rico's nose just shows that he's causing more damage. And he's staying calm and composed. He's not letting go. This is not the fight we expected to see, but it appeared at least in round one that Butter might have won a technical round. Yeah, that was very... It's not what we expected, but Ma Rico's doing a good job at countering with his low kicks, and he needs to keep those up, but he's eating a lot of straight punches from Butter. Well, Butter has experience with high fight IQ. I've had the, the pleasure to be able to both train with both of these gentlemen, these fine athletes. Both have, are, are clever fighters, uh, but Butter is a high, has a very high fight intelligence, and you're seeing it. He's just trying footwork, he's trying fakes, and, and he's able to land that jab. Rico, or rather Bader, said it wouldn't go out of round one. It and he has. Fight! Bader might have won round one. Here's round two.
some sort to the right arm of Bader Hari. It'll be interesting to see where that damage happened in that round. Got in a knee from the clinch. Not the way anyone wanted this to end. <laughs> Or could you tell what blow caused the damage? I don't know. I think it could have been a knee, and I think a shoulder is dislocated. Great sportsmanship by both gentlemen. There's respect after the fight as it should be. Let's make it official now, in the ring, Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end with an official time of 1 minute 22 seconds of that second round with the black corner unable to continue. Your winner, Rico Verhoeven. Let's send it in. Here to present the commemorative to the trophy. Our head of talent operations, Cor Hammers, and our chief executive officer, John Franklin. Run, I got him. Take it away, buddy. Okay, Rico Verhoeven celebrating here in Germany your 50th career victory. You take out the entire glory heavyweight division and now a kickboxing legend. What can you describe what's going through your mind right now? Oh yeah, man, it was a it was a good fight, and then you know all those fans, without you guys all here, doesn't matter. The B Rico fight, Rico fans, Bonner fans, Nikki fans, the whole fucking roster was amazing, and without all you guys, you know this bitch is sold out. Rico, it's an unfortunate way that this fight ended, but tell us your game plan coming in against the kickboxing legend. Uh, yeah, the game plan was just let him rush, you know. You know he has a strong punch, and he showed that, you know. I had an injury because of Benny. I was sparring with Benny. He opened up my nose two weeks ago, and um, yeah, the first jab, pop, you know. He was, <laughs> we knew his jab was, uh, was quick, and... Oh, no doubt it was. <laughs> Absolutely. He's got some power in those punches. But Rico, there is some talk. This was not a title fight. If Badr Hari will do it, will you give him the rematch? Oh, no doubt. I told him right away. I said, hey, this is, this is not our way I wanted to win. And I told him, and I gave him all my respect. And, you know, I said, we're going to do it again, man. Let's do it. Not just for us, but for you guys as well. You two have one of the most intense stare downs I've ever seen in combat sports. Describe though, Bada Hari as the man. You guys are both professionals, but this guy's done a lot for the sport. Oh, no doubt, you know. You look at what he did in the K1 days. He's destroyed everybody. And like, like you said, you know, that stand down was intense. There was no game. Some people think, hey, this is not real. They set it up. Hey, but it was no setup. This was. 
it wasn't really, for me, it wasn't really bad blood. It's just, what, hey, I want to show I'm the best. He wants to show he still got it. And, yeah, unfortunately, the fight ended in this way, but it is what it is. I know you told me you are going to eat everything that you possibly can at Christmas time. You're going to enjoy this victory. But looking ahead at 2017, what's the goal? Pooh, no doubt. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, 2017 is just behind the door now. And... I'm just gonna take it whatever I have, man. I have those actors' ambitions. Uh, I definitely got still ambitions for a big MMA. So let's see what that has to bring. And of course, defend my title in glory. Well done, Rico Verhoeven. Enjoy this victory. Thanks, Ron. All right, I've got Rico, Schrader, Dennis Grewal, and Dennis. Talk about what you guys put together as a strategy to face the kickboxing boxing legend in Badahari. Yeah, man, of course, uh, we respect Badah very much his uh, talent. So we take care of the first round, we take care not too much get hit, and take the energy out of him. But he got some good, clean left jabs, what is a good trademark. We had already an injury before, and he opened it in two seconds. But in the second round, we see he breathed deeper and we could go in the pressure and go fight with him. And you see, it's bad luck, but we were coming in the fight, but uh, we hoped it was a little bit different, but we can do it again, no problem. There we go, a rematch in the making, Dennis. Rico came in here, he has cleaned out the heavyweight division in glory. What does this win say about his legacy in the sport? Man. This boy is now the best in the world. I wished he was 10 years ago with all the great champions because I want to prove that he belongs to them. I not want to be arrogant, but he belongs to them. And he deserves this respect. So give him a big yell. Germany, give it up for the champion, Rico Verhoeven, and the legend, Badahari. Badahari, Badahari, of course, this is not the way that you wanted this fight to end. Give us the details. It looks like your forearm. What happened? First of all, I want to say I'm very disappointed in the outcome of the fight. You know, my fans, I love you. You support me through all this shit. Let me, let me, let me finish. You know why I love my fans? I had a lot of shit in my life. You know, when, all, when everybody was like, ah, but you finished. I had, you know, problem with, uh, with justice. I had problem with a lot of things, but they always keep supporting me. The, Moro the Moroccans in the house, you're like lions, yeah. <laughs> but, not, but, not, but not only the Moroccan fans, you know, I don't want to disappoint all my other fans from the Netherlands, my fans from Germany, England, France. You know, you do, you, do a, you do a great job. What I have to say about Rico, you know, the little guy became big, and uh, I think he's a true contender to every good heavyweight in the world. I think still he's one of the best. He's not the best yet, but he's a really, he's a really dangerous guy. He's strong, his physics are great, and uh, I really felt like I stand with a man in the ring, not a boy, so he did a good job. So everybody who's telling this guy, he's a boy, he's not. But, you know, let me get, let me get, let me get one thing straight. You know, I think uh, nobody wanted this fight to end like this. You saw, I was, I was strong. You know, I tapped him at the face, in the nose. I tapped him whatever I want. My, you know, my, my speed was killing. My power, he, know, he knows it by himself by now. And uh, I don't want to, I don't want to lose like this. And I don't think he want to win like this. So, you know, let's say, let's do it again. But first of all, uh, give, me, give me a second, give me a second. No, give me a second, give me a second, boys. Let me finish. Listen, we, we, we do we doing martial combat. This is a contact sport. You know, the most important thing is your health. You have to take care of your family. So sometimes you have to put your health on the first place. That's what happened today. It's a dangerous sport, people. But okay. Let me see how I get well first. I will get well soon. I will hit the gym. 
and I will knock this guy out last next year. Is it your forearm, and when did that injury happen? What happened? I don't know what happened. I just snapped it at the moment, I think. Let me go to the hospital, take some pictures, see what happens. But hey, this crowd is amazing, and uh, let's do this again. Rico. Rico, don't walk out of me. Come back. I'm in between these two guys. Final words. You know, you did a good job. But I swear, today, I swear, you know, I gave you credits, but now I don't give a fuck. Next year, I swear, I will make you the fuck out. I'll, I'll keep you on that war, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, we have a rematch. Absolute chaos here in the glory ring. Todd, back to you somewhere ringside. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Nice job. Alistair and Joe, I'd love to get your final thoughts quickly. Before we say goodnight, Alistair, I give it to you first. Well, it's uh, a pitiful end of a beautiful battle in the making. And Joseph. Well, it was this. Uh, the ending we didn't want to see, but never the end. I think the sport grew, and we got a lot more fans involved in this great sport, and this is what this sport needs to be the best, most watched sport on combat sports and in the world. And Alistair, we didn't get to see too much of it, but from what you saw, if we do indeed see a rematch, who do you give the edge to? You know, it's hard to say. Rico has grown as a fighter. You see it, he's there, he's confident. I was dominating the first round, but you never know. This fight should have gone on longer. I'm very curious about the rematch. All right, so a rematch is forthcoming. When and where, we don't yet know, but it appears Bader Hari has a serious injury to his right arm. That'll do it from a sold-out Cohen Pilsner Arena here in Oberhaus in Germany for Whitney Miller, Ron Krug, of course, Alistair Overeem, and Joseph Mussolini. I'm Todd Grisham. Thanks for watching Glory Collision.